Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, audio recording I will present you with uh, goes to September the 4th, 2020, and it's going to be one of the ultimate proofs about MK Ultra, which went on. It goes to September the 4th, 2020. Don't worry about anything like this uh, because the, I got messed up equipment. The telephone, it would upload viruses literally as soon as you would connect one to the internet. Uh, it would frequently reset itself to year 2017 and so on. But it was the telephone, really good one for the audio recordings. Uh, the correct day of creation of this audio recording here again is September the 4th 2020 you're gonna hear me at the bank somewhere in Ostrava that is in Czech Republic talking to three employees two of which were involved in MKUltra both of them would go back to year 2000 probably that means about 20 years back I think uh, they would appear here, there, this and that. They would get people also transferred from the stores to the banks and so on and so forth. That kind of stuff happened a lot. Uh, the third employee, however, this is the high profile uh, case, involves a girl whose parents are Ukrainian Czech parents. Ukrainian German. Uh, and a Czech lady possibly very very possibly she is eventually even a product of two people who met through this very case through me this is a really really interesting case high-profile case uh, I will not point the location uh, after my presentation the only thing I will do is I'm gonna play you this audio recording here Eventually, I will not comment anything because the most of it is in English. It won't be necessary translation. Uh, however, for the investigation purposes, it would be good to use someone who also speaks Polish to confirm everything stated that, in fact, three employees were identified. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate exactly since the talk is about mom and dad, what mom and dad used to look like, I'm going to point out where the mom and dad at one point worked. Um, and I'm going to point out, of course, my knowledge of, since this is diplomatic case, high profile case, I'm going to also point out the locations uh, diplomatic locations of Czech Republic in Ukraine therefore embassies I'm referring to uh, and even a nearby area and I'm gonna take as an example let's say Lvov city of Lviv, Lvov I'm not gonna go into Kiev there are two locations I'm not going to the Kiev uh, but just by my doing this kind of stuff I think I'm gonna go beyond any doubt prove to you that stuff I'm talking about now this is already Ukraine now we are talking about I have a tons of recordings about Ukraine uh, and also Georgia and uh, countries nearby in vicinity which this video is also concerning just to give more proofs about uh, torture which took place against me that took deprived me of no less than 26 years of life. In fact, we're not talking about MK Ultra case only here. We're talking about the extraordinary renditions, abductions, literally from my bath first, uh, from Miami Beach, taken, transported through the plane, uh, anywhere to the Eastern, but also Western Europe. You're talking about Britain, France, Germany, Italy, and also, uh, of course, Scandinavia, and of course, Poland, Belarus, Russia, Ukraine, Czech Republic, Slovakia, 
here homeland Slovenia and so on and so forth so that's the kind of stuff uh, we are talking about 11 and a half years since 95 to 2006 maybe the most uh, damning proofs because this is not what I supposed to appear in Europe anywhere that's 11 and a half years period and I was all over the place uh, and uh, you know of course ongoingly all the way to last occasion was in 2019 when filing for political asylum in Poland 2019 uh, 2018 but 2019 a little bit taken again out of political asylum from Polish political asylum political asylum um, far 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 beyond MK Ultra uh, far beyond far 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 beyond I lost 26 years because of this this stuff I'm not exactly a happy customer when it comes to this stuff so let's go to the business and let me do my presentation and on what as I stated I'm just gonna attach and burn the movie this video right here and that's going to be the easiest uh, thing to get it done this here fruits yeah that's right number one case I'm gonna make is this here and I think this is pretty damning anyways we're not here yet this is where however we are at this is embassy in Lviv I'm talking about the Czech Embassy here, Czech Embassy, Czech Embassy from Czechoslovakia. A gentleman you see here, whoever that man is, of course, from beginning, before the building looked like the way it looks now, had also a different kind of uniform. It was that boring uniform? Um, This is a Czech embassy in Lviv, Lvov, Lviv. Maybe I should show you where Lviv is, but I'm gonna do that next before I go to Kiev. Because I don't wanna waste time. What's different here in this place? All right, I'm gonna go straight down. This here, this window that you see here, this is where the room was added. This is where they also operate inside of this room. This was remodeled in 2008, they say, and I kind of figure out on my own, but there is information here I'm gonna show you. Um, I did check my own information. It matches this one here, 2008. And I'm not going to claim credit for this. I don't care about it. Because I go far beyond this. I don't need this anyways. See, this is nice. It would be nice, but I got more than this. This here is what was added, basically. This this area here. This office is down below. Um, this stairway here that you see here, this was also remodeled. This is also the stuff that was remodeled the entrance here was remodeled uh, changed this here this this is where director actually excuse me that's a mistake that's a really a mistake the boss the boss was located here in this where the balcony is this was his office this is his office however he would be also here in this office this this office here this is where i would also meet in this office here this these two offices the gate the gate was added The side, this thing here on the side, pretty much looks the same. It almost looks about the same thing as it was before. Um, it does look the same. 
but this thing was also remodeled in my opinion this was also the job was also done here but it looks very very much the same like it did the same um, very very much looks the same but I'm telling you that this here was this is this looks painted um, it looked extremely poor without this gate here this just looked like extremely poor it was like like a regular gate before like almost like this fence you see right here in the top it was poor simply poor it was the house the house uh, the entire structure the building structure not only the windows um, definitely was painted it was like how can I say a green color like I had a very very unpleasant feeling when walking here also because the guards hated me as they claimed that I'm a racist this here what you see here all this stuff this is the entrance here this is this is basically what was remodeled other than that pretty much is the same uh, this fan I'm not gonna go into it ambassador however would not forgive me even that I think yeah I know all the ambassadors that worked here they all were good people they tried to help me out but I steered the word that started an S according to them what however matters not this here out of service I am completely not sure about it I'm not totally sure about this stuff 100% definite I'm not but either was this the one that was the first one that was remodeled or this thing here one of the two this here is the fruit company uh, that was started as soon as we would appear here in this place within like a year or two or something like this it would be the fruit company that would they would start one ha huh. they have a fax machine here in the back um, here as you enter you would go and then you would go you would elevate a little bit and you would go up and you would elevate a little bit more and here in the back uh, you have offices the ladies something like this it is and let me see something yeah it sure is it's funny that the window is here but let me see something here never thought about that I don't know why but this is the impression I got or maybe you would go down but here in the back we would come here to have a copies done and stuff like this to see a ladies a beautiful ladies you know? because I'm a racist anyways doesn't matter that's what I found interesting so I apologize that the wars were not of my interest uh, guys neither uh, but so what um, here out of service if this was not the first then this was I'm not gonna bother with this kind of stuff here with this plot Kaskodova because I'm gonna tell you honestly this was not immediately added no first uh, was uh, the building was in a really good shape they they clean one up they painted one they always keep one in a really really good shape this was always here then the then this staircase was added and I would say yeah I would say definitely after just about uh, all right to make myself clear this remodelation uh, the private company that commenced 
was this was the first building that was fixed here I think that was her model this was the first one this villa right here this was the number one uh, once they started to fix this embassy this and that that's probably where this staircases were added but the auto service I think that building was already a good looking one even before the embassy I think but Pretty much this is the way I feel it was. The first the money was here, into this, into this, into this building here. I don't want to go wrong about it. It's really important stuff. No, actually the embassy then this building here sorry then the private building then this thing here but i have to repeat that the way they started to repair and fix the stuff it went f whatever was close to the embassy that's what they would take here the first that's important stuff for me to declare now that remodeling took place in 2008 then in this case going past this company which I have demonstrated the factory disappeared was gone this used to be a factory I don't know what was inside here some kind of who knows what I think they had two things going on but they maybe still have it now this is Georgian Embassy Georgian Embassy became Georgian Embassy here I think in 2010 I think in 2010 or something like this. That's what I estimated. That was rebuilt in 2008. The problem, however, I do have it. I do have it because I deemed that Czech Embassy was remodeled way, way, way before that. It's very distant in my memory. This is where the problem is. This here that you see here is a Czech uh, is a Georgian embassy, embassy of Georgia. Added to this building, where some kind of a factory was before, is the entrance in the back. This here, this never was here. Nor there was this wall here that you see. Nothing. This was a mess. F and the arrow up is what you would refer to this place from the from the rear. Catastrophe. This here, uh, totally, totally, totally repainted building, remodeled, and the b rear entrance added, just the way you see it, a brand new entrance, at least in 2010, I estimate. If you look at the building and you would say, boy, this is a brand new building. For a moment, I was kind of a sure tool but it's not of course the entrance classic is redesigned remodeled that's a normal and then we have an interesting feature here right here in the top here in the top you have the main office this is where the I think this immigration officer is and the immigration officer is here this is director director is right here the boss the main the main boss ambassador whatever he is located just just as you see right here right here he's got a table he sits right there on the side there are tables that go along the wall right here one two something like this this that's the entrance right there if we go inside to look inside what it is inside like okay so I'm gonna say basically that's that I see that they fix the wall it's not that they would only fix the wall the whole big structure started behind there it's the whole revolution I saw that okay this this wall here that you see this one here this this was a horror 
when I would come here, this thing here first, whatever the year was, holes. It looked like the whole thing is gonna collapse. It was, it was to me, it was dirty wall. It was terrible. Uh, the buildings really, really needed the paintings. Oh, since I am doing this kind of stuff, we're gonna jump just for a moment. We're gonna go back like this, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what the Georgian people tell me to tell you. Even if you look at from the top, it looks like a brand new building. It's not. They're the one they replaced the building, uh, the roof, excuse me. The roof before was just like this. See this building here? Let's go back. The building that you see here, the Georgian embassy, just looks like totally, totally new building. Not new. It's the same like this thing here, except that this is not remodeled. It's not remodeled. Huh? It's not a new building. Not a new building. It's just it's just been really, really well remodeled. That's all there is to it. Other than that, I have no idea what kind of, what was up there. Some kind of factory, something I remember the people then. I had a feeling in my head, going back distance, distance going. If I would estimate according to my memory, it would not go into, you know, just something like, like I have stated to you here, you know. I don't know why is it, but obviously I know even interior what it looks like, <laughs> where the immigration people work. There's no such thing on the internet. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. You're not going to get any information out of it. I didn't even bother to look for that thing. But this thing here that you see here, this, according to my memory, the way I feel about the remodelation, this, what you see here, okay, is kind of a distant. It makes me feel, you know, as I would go literally to all through the Ukraine was not as early as Czech Republic, not anywhere even near. This is the thing. But according to the memory, maybe they did something to me. I have no idea what it is, but the memories are so de damn distant. Okay. I would go to about year, I don't know, even 2005, 2004, 2003. It makes me feel what you see here, you know? But it's not, they say it's 2008, so I guess it's 2008 in that case, all right? But to me, it makes me feel that, just as I stated first to myself, it's 2008, but you know, it, it, I'm just saying the way I feel about it, it makes me feel like it would be literally 2003 or something like this. 2003 even 2002 and so on I had no idea why do I feel like that like I said the gentleman the police officer at first that would look like more like a, you know they did they didn't look like this they had they had at first when I was there they had like a different hat uh, they had almost like a police officers you know like a police officer pants you know a jacket completely different like almost like a military personnel something like that in that sense uh, like green uniforms and boring no. um, what exactly changed here when it comes to the building it's pretty much what I stated to you I think this here this stuff here that you see here only was pretty much painted I think but that's that. That's why I also believe that because the guy told me that they started to remodel from this way down and because I really never seen anything changed much around here that this was actually very early this auto service that always was they always kept this neat. But the staircases were added. This here definitely was beautified. This wall here, this wall was no way was this anywhere 
as pleasant for the eyes as, as it is now. All through, I have to tell you that this is what I couldn't understand. You see the, the top here, did you see it the way it looks like? This is somehow I couldn't come to terms because in a way I always liked it a lot because here it actually looks so... Uh, I wasn't sure when I was looking just, just like right now on you know, those windows that you see right there in, in, in the back. It made me feel as if this was the fence in a way that, that is interesting. But then when you will pay attention to it, it was just really not, not a neat wall. You know. Which they fixed it. They definitely fixed it. So it looks really pleasant. It looks very pleasant for the eyes. Oh, nothing like it used to it used to be before. Okay, now when I demonstrated what the two buildings looks like on the inside, who works where. Uh, I'm sure you do remember I did spoke to you about the two important people. These are the parents of the girl you're going to hear me talking to. Okay, so since, yeah, so this is, since this is a person we'll be talking about with, I should say, uh, her dad, more or less, if you would, if you would put in this guy here uh, some extra pounds, then it would match the color of the hair and somewhat facial characteristics of him. Uh, just a stronger guy. Um, just add to this guy, probably I would say about, you know, I would say like this when you see it, I, I, would, I would just add, you know, more or less something like this. Not, not exactly, but I know exactly how, okay? I know, not exactly like this, I should... But like this from the side, somewhat he would look like, okay? Uh, you would add, I have no idea, maybe 30 kilos or something like this. That would be his, her father, more or less. Um, as far as the mom, this would be something like this. This would be her mom. More or less. This would match basically description of her mom. When I saw her first time, uh, of course, it would be unusual if I wouldn't fall in love with her. Uh, that would be like highly, highly unusual. But the mayor of the city, I think, had um, three cuties that were even interested in Ostrava, in me. Uh, however, they managed to push these cuties away from me because one time they brought me without toothbrush. Uh, with one word, I was disgusting, repulsive. My hair was completely messed up. Uh, I literally scared them away. Her haircut was different, though. Her haircut was not like this. Her haircut was... Uh, something like this. This is what would match more or less her haircut. This would be something like her haircut. And the cute has got... Uh, if they did not, if they didn't get completely repulsed by me, uh, then I feel really bad for them. I know that I felt like a pig, like a swine. Uh, this is yet another impression about MK Ultra. I had extremely negative impression about MK Ultra. Disgusting, really, really disgusting. Can you imagine? Uh, you brought in front of the beautiful ladies. They see you once, they see you twice. You have no control whatsoever, and you come like a swine, like a pig, like an animal. You come. She later on told me, I think first time that we met in year 1995, and that would actually be a building. This one right here. It's not that it could be, oh, this actually was the building, which later on was renovated. Now we go back to a Czech Republic from Ukraine. This is what you have seen here. This was in the city of Lvov, Lviv. This is in Ukraine, close to Slovakia, to Poland, also on the border. Okay, 
there was another embassy here involved also Czech embassy in Kiev I'm gonna get to that uh, but in Kiev it was not like this yeah it was not like like this it was it would it would not it, it was not like so uh, like let's say that I was not so much familiarized with with embassy as, as I was here because they that was like a very professional completely different kind of atmosphere I can tell you that the the rooms here in the back I, I failed to mention this here up here these are the rooms for the personnel from the embassy personnel this is where they would have their area where they would live basically this was their area Okay, so this I was very, very explained exactly who is located where inside of this building. In case you would have any doubts, right? And I have also explained what was remodeled inside the, this, of course, this interior here. Uh, and uh, they added office, which was, I think, this office here that you see. And the one under the entrance here above. The entrance before was different it was a different entrance it was like from front entrance it would not be like this on the side it was different entrance so this I have explained even what was changed inside what was added all right versus when compared to Lviv uh, I should say Kiev ah, say it is here where the Sofia is here Sofia, let's go here closer. Yeah, it's supposed to be here. <sighs> I don't want to waste time with this. This place, the only thing you would hear in this place, I remember only the offices I remember. I remember people working inside of these offices. This is a big building of basically offices. I don't remember, um, I don't remember anything uh, like private uh, beds and stuff like this. The truth, however, also is that I did not spend much time here. I didn't waste much time. This is in Kiev. This is a main city of Ukraine. Of course, I was not here. I was all over the, all these streets. They would dream me go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I was I would be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I got to tell you one thing that I'm extremely disappointed about American involvement in Ukraine. Uh, like angry. You see this McDonald's here? I think it shouldn't even be here because it didn't deserve to be here. I think United States of America has done nothing for Ukraine, really. They collected some money through the remodelation, and they basically advertised themselves. But as far as Ukraine, they wouldn't even give weapons, anything to Ukraine. I'm not doing a commercial for Vladimir Putin, who, by the way, is a real problem for everybody. But concern for the Ukrainian people from my point of view, still is a zero point nothing. They repeatedly refused and told me under MK Ultra they will not give, not, nor to Poland and not to Ukraine, anything at all. If they want something, eventually they will have to push and ships, military ships, and transfer the military to Poland and Ukraine, which it did happen. Through the Bosphorus Channel, finally, in 2018, uh, American ships flew closer and closer through the Black Sea to the Moscow. That's exactly what they have accomplished. As far as the Ukrainian soldiers, military, if they would or they would not survive, whatever, it really matters not to NATO. Excuse me. This is just a fact. They would not even sell them weapons. They would not give them anything. They would starve them, literally. And through the starvation, they would accomplish advancement toward East, basically toward Russia. This is just nothing else than a truth. 
Here, however, Americans presented me like a racist, like a bigot, like somebody that does not like Ukrainian people and so on and so forth. So I am paying you this stuff right back because I really don't owe you anything other than what I stated here. Disgusting. With one word, disgusting. Accomplished literally through starvation and through the deaths of Ukrainian people. At the same time, they, when they presented me like this, they would feel Putin with the tanks, with the military, so he could assault and did bomb Donbass, hurt Ukraine as much as possible. The only thing they would do is, and I also resent this to the Czech Republic, this was really nice that I was capable to see Ukraine a lot thanks to you. However, what I resent to Czech Republic is that it was nothing else than paranoia that went on. It was a paranoia like you you had no idea here in this embassy here. It was like at one time there was we even talk that they would transfer the embassy here that from the Kiev and stuff like this. It was crazy. It was insane that people were being killed and this and that when I would come over there. At one point it actually would make you feel like I was not here. It make me feel like I'm in some kind of almost when I asked the people where we are, because it was such a panic. And they told me that we are in Ukraine, this and that. And I knew the situation in Ukraine and this and that. And so that's why I didn't express any kind of panic, because Americans, along the Czechs, they would incite in a total paranoia. It was like, it was like, it was like, made me, they tried to make me feel like, like as if I was in a Bosnia, in the middle of the war zone or something at some police station or something like this when they did remodel. By the way, yes, it was. It was really remodeled in 2008 because, because Georgians keep convincing me, Georgians who at the same time claim that I'm a racist and on the other hand, they love me so much they would give their lives for me that it was really 2010 when this stuff went on. They would keep reminding me. So thanks to them, I know it was 2010. Okay. Um, no, in reality, there was no trace of any kind of racism. That's a BS. Uh, I just uh, am happy around women, around the females. I mean, I'm sorry, but is it to you more interesting to, to, to steer in the wall or to the beautiful lady? You tell me about it. All right. I don't know about you. Uh, and so this here did very very little and for the Czech Republic and for the Ukraine I'm gonna tell you uh, extremely 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 disappointing when the Pollocks finally got those planes on the table the deal uh, the one you know who was the one who stalled this it was Donald Trump who would not give them anything he wanted to start them to death literally in front of them it was something else behind them it was a completely different music it was a totally different music they will never get and then they got not through donald trump they didn't get he was the one who positioned himself as here you have it because that's the way it was but not through him those who played the donald trump game remained poor and without anything those are also the people who did not know what they want and what not uh really i'm sorry if i did a, if i really did insulted some ukrainian here uh or i don't know or georgian or czech i really didn't mean that i didn't mean anything bad for you okay um now after you have seen what the parents looked like more or less this is the building that have undergone a total total renovation sometimes the renovation started sometimes i estimate in about 1998. in 1995-1996 you're talking about three cuties next to the mayor it makes me almost feel that the mayor was built uh, was based here somewhere and you're talking about the top floor it was always the top floor and the top floor what the top floor used to look like uh it was i don't know to me it looked like a narrow uh the top floor and uh in this offices you know we would be early in the mornings and 
in sometimes I think in 97 at least is when the lady this girl go, would get very upset with me and and she told me that that uh, that I'm a racist too she called me that I'm a racist well, now I got another accusation that I uh, that I don't like Russian people that uh, that they realize this and I don't know what da -da 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 -dum, da -da 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 -dum. but hop just as she said that this is the kind of hair she had more or less like this this is the kind of hair she had that time this was the length of the hair that she had uh, a hero jumped her to help and save her from me the terrible man the Ukrainian husband whom also I understand I did not like the way he looked according to his physique and he saved the beautiful lady from me uh, happy end happy marriage I remember him you know you're talking about strong man you know like stronger guy you know simply mid-size build and that time he was dynamic that time he even started to do some kind of a sport and this and that he took me to ukraine oh this was not the end of ours this was not the end of myself on a picture with him and with with what became a mom of the girl you are about to hear here on the audio recording this was not our end this was like a beginning in 97, 98. Um, literally, they would take me to Ukraine with them. Um, the man was uh, became very active. Um, he became like a really macho from her. It was a really happy marriage. It was a very happy marriage and the man was... It had proven to be the right, the right husband and the right uh, father. I was inside of their home I'm pretty damn sure also in the Czech Republic they have me inside of the home including with a daughter we eat at the same table and so on and so forth the way this thing ended between the three of us was basically right here on the streets of Ostrava in the Czech Republic not here but right here in the back this is at Carolina, where the Carolina shopping mall is. But the way this whole thing ended was but basically walking me back and forth in the streets and talking to me whatever they wanted to play with me. Yeah, these people really loved me. You know, I was guilty of all kinds of stuff, but they just couldn't do without me, wherever I would go. Oh, this man loves to tease. He loved to tease me. It was he is a teaser, and and mom is a teaser. And uh, the way this whole thing ended, this was uh, I remember here somewhere in this area. Uh, that because because he said because I did that because I did because of what I did to you. And I said, "What do you what do you did to me?" Nah? And then he reminded me, nah? and said, "Because I I have stolen from you a wife," nah? and he pointed me her. And that's I don't know whether he was teasing me or not. Uh, just maybe we're gonna find out one day. Uh, and I was definitely into her. This there is no doubt about that. But yeah, I was a mess. I was a mess. I I, I my haircut was like from maybe something like imagine Elvis Presley without without shaved and without you know some MK Ultra at the beginnings this was like especially cruel to me and they would have you appear like this that this was this was terrible and dirty and stuff like this and she said she said and because I cheated you okay because of the stuff we did to you because I cheated on you and they made me understand on that MK Ultra as stoned, as jerked up as I was, right? Uh, we decided both uh, that we're going to give you something that is ours, something that is 
are mine and something that is hers. And I was like, what are you talking about? You know, I, I tried to understand what, what exactly they're talking about. I said, but what do you mean? What, how? Uh, how how could you give me something that is uh, something that is yours and something that is, that is hers and they were laughing and they said it's our daughter <laughs> so this is what this is uh, this is what this Czech Ukrainian couple did I like this family very much both of them three of them they are really nice is a great father and is a great mom and it's just very positive people Oh, yeah, they worked on an embassy. You know, this is also important stuff for me to say. Um, the mom, the mom completed, just completed some kind of university. She completed university. She had a university degree. She got a degree university. Um, yeah, all her life was in front of her. And then they worked in this, uh, in this, uh, she was he was she was a really really high profile in uh, in in Ostrava and once uh, the combination the two got together the career I believe they just took off worked at embassy in Ukraine this is how uh, I was also taken to meet them to see them but also other people too so that's all I want to say uh, about this family maybe um, the latest cutest tool on this bank. The only thing they did is they laughed. They're just the troublemakers, these Czech girls and Polish girls and Ukrainian girls was the same. Uh, and with the Russian tool, wherever it went. Um, did I miss anything else here that I want to say? This is quite humor humorous, isn't it? The whole story. And you see that I have knowledge about the stuff I am talking about here. Uh, I think that's all there is to it. The only thing that uh, I gotta say, let me see here, I, I, I did. You were here in 2017, 100% after she says 2018. Oh, one of them tried to test me about 2018, but they did have me in this banking institution. I was brought literally from a Belarus. That's why I know it was 2017 when she was there. It was not 2018. And she agrees with that. But these girls, they had them in the stores, they had them in other banks and so on and so forth. They were just involved in this stuff, okay? But this one here, this is, this one, okay, this one, I'm gonna tell you like that. Now, if you, I'm talking to her right now, all right? If you happen to be older than 24 years, older than 23 years, then your dad really really pulled me for my nose because obviously that he did met your mom uh, before yeah well you know like you would have to be at least 24 years old so that you could say that he knew you before okay if you're not 24 then he's young uh in that case uh, you just really happen to be a product of this case. Uh, basically, the two met like this. It was like this. That time in Ostrava, uh, in a Czech Republic, they were looking forward to because it was wherever I was. It was all kinds of people. They would, they would, they would wrap around me, including Russians. It was marriages that. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff that happened. Okay. It was all kinds of stuff that happened. So, yeah, go figure out about that yourself. All right. Uh, the only thing I have to say is uh, the next thing you have here is actually the audio recording. And that one really, really, this case, really, I wasn't sure from the beginning. Then I started to put the things together. It got to me. Look, folks, I was thinking about the job, how to get the job. What am I going to do? It was completely out of my mind looking for the job in Ostrava. Uh, really drowning in problems and it doesn't come to you immediately and then my god and then it comes to you okay little by little a little bit here a little bit there um, audio recording word if you want to listen in English 
if you want to see experience yourself what what that looks like thanks for watching this video till next time
free. Free and Awesome. So, uh, basically, you can connect any of them that you have at your hour. You can also enjoy it. Yes. Do you want a credit card? Yes. Free. Yeah, credit card is. No, 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 not a credit card. Debit card. You get free with debit card. Oh, yes, I do want Thank you so much. The one today, I would then, because. Whatever I can. Yeah. The process is there. Check it out. Check it out. You got it. Thank you. So you got actually a passport and a Polish driver license because you have stolen me an ID and driver license and everything in Poland. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay. Uh, so I can give you. I can give you as far as as far as as far as the third idea. I can give you this one. What? And the this, is, this is not going to do anything good for me. Uh, but just for you to verify my identity. Yes. Yeah. This is my identity. It says right there. I'm from Slovenia. Do you have nationality uh, U.S. No, no, no. I'm Slovenian with American citizen. I don't consider myself to American. I, mean, I have a citizenship, and that's all I have. Mm -hmm. America only created problems for me. America is mm -hmm. Sure, it's convenient. It's convenient to have American passports. And you were there, or you used to live there? I used to live there, yeah. I used to live there until the last time I was there in 2010. Okay. Yes. And you come over to here because you started your working career? No, I actually was in Poland. I was working in Poland. And then I decided to come to Czech Republic. So that's a short story. Yeah, right now I am in Hawaii. You know, we're Hawaii. Uh, okay, right now I have a couple of questions. Uh, on uh, that's a, like a city uh, on the border. You know where the bottle is? Here before the bottle is? That's right on the border across the street. You know, so I yeah. In Czech Republic. In Czech Republic. I pay tax. So, yes, sir. Yes, yes, of course. In the Poland, right now? In the Poland, I pay tax. The taxes are paid. Uh, I have to get the money back. Okay. So, if you let me take a copy of the document. Please do. And then. Uh, do you have to take American passport? Uh -huh. And I um, yeah, yeah, I want to get it. Are you absolutely sure? No. Uh, it will be. Uh, it doesn't do me any good. This passport doesn't do me any good. It's the trouble. Yeah, I know. Just again, if you can like, see, you can see that this is me. It's a real person. Yeah, I see. It's just. Uh, uh, this was actually the same picture taken at the same time. Yeah, two, two, two passports at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I usually have to have that in the morning. Ah, you got a spot. You got a spot. Okay, Jan. Jan, you have one other business card. Sure, this is mine. And you want to know what's up? Thank you so much. Sure, let's see. So you're saying that with a debit card, I can just go to ATM machine and I can just take the money out? Uh, if your money is present in that account, we are open it for you. They will open it for you. Ah, uh, so yeah. So the only thing we will need to do is to send money from the Polish account. Put this one here. And this is going to take some time. To make a seven days. And it's probably cheaper than making it, right? Uh, 
Oh, like, uh, you know, when you withdraw the money, this is a pretty good bank, right? Yeah. Which is, uh, the uh, uh, the charge the fee, Yeah, like, uh, half a Half a year? Half a year. Uh-huh, oh, okay. okay. Okay, I get it. Uh-huh. Or you can withdraw at ATMs uh -huh. for free. For free. But it depends on your limit, and it depends on how much money you want to withdraw. Okay, but to deposit the money here, yeah, I don't have to pay the money, right? Uh, no. There's no fee for depositing money. Okay. Uh, well, depends. Uh, Not much, nothing. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh, let me do that. Let's do it that way. I understand. Oh, I get it. I tell you what, uh, I will definitely come back and do it with you. But from your perspective, the way I think about it, if I don't have employment yet, they will probably want to know what this person is want to open the account. It is very strange, yeah. Purpose, probably. Yeah. You would probably approve me, but it's college, in the back of office, maybe you would not. So, so um, well, uh, do you want to join the phone, or we can both call it, I'll tell you next time back. I would definitely need a bank, banking account, and definitely will come back here to get one, because All I right. want one with your bank. But, you think, probably, in your opinion, and it's going to be a trouble, probably, because of that. Get the job first and then come back. But you know, I will have to, I will need the money. There is no doubt about that, and I'm going to need that money as fast as possible. Can you just write on that I work here? I like it. I did check it. They have a number to pick it, and they enter that inside of the system, and before you know it, you know. Right? So you have the kind of system I can call on. They give you some kind of number or something, and um, you know. I think it's pretty easy for you. Uh, if you have a card, debit, like probably a college bank, I do. You can just go into any. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, but for instance, um, I have an idea. Just start of the work. Just tell them I work here, that's it. Because this is going to be the case. The thing is that I will need this account because the employer is going to have to deposit money somewhere. I'm sure they're not going to deposit this to Polish bank. That's one thing. And the second thing is the money transfer which I need to make from Poland to Czech Republic is questionable. They say they charge 2.5% only. This is not something that would take my life away, I can survive that kind of shock. But the thing about it is, then again, that uh, it could be cheaper maybe to get uh, a bank transfer from that bank to this one here, especially maybe, I don't know, concerning maybe rates or something like this. I have no idea, because there is exchange rate, so yeah. think about that. You know, that kind of stuff. Depends on what you want to say. Okay. Well, you know what, please, let's do that. I'm just going to write in, I'm just going to write in that I work, that I have some job. Oh, they, they want my tax ID number from the Czech Republic? Yes. So I could actually do this under the Polish, right? Yeah, to me it's the same thing. And what about this here company name? Uh, Would I work? No. Uh, uh, yeah, Slovenian, and then Polish, and so all of this is going to be called. Country of tax residency, Poland, yes. Yeah, it's going to be okay. It's going to be a day Very useless to work for. What about this here company name? Uh, Thanks. Tax ID oh, number? Uh, it's uh, 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 a number. Uh, 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 I have a Tesla number. Tesla number is this one here. This is a Polish, uh, Polish number that we use for taxation. I don't have a company. This is the one. This would be the number. We're going to do it on the forums. I don't care. I really don't care. Is it forums or check it out? It can mean the same thing. I like it. I like forums. I don't want to check it out. It can mean the same thing. The one here, the blue one that you see here, is the one I don't like at all. 
and a microphone. Well, this is nothing but a trouble. Of course. Sorry. Uh, no, a few in there sometimes. Okay, I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. What? You were, you were born in Ukraine? Ah, you were a Polish from Ukraine. Because you look Polish. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have. 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 Wait, no, this is impossible. Wait, no, no, no. You don't have the border with, uh, with the Ukraine. Actually, you do have Slovakia. Ah, are you are you maybe Slovak in Ukraine or something? Because you don't look Ukrainian at all. But are you are you uh, Ukrainian or you're not? So what are you, Czech? But you were born in Ukraine. But how? I remember I had a good passport. I can take my eye. 
Ваша банка, то есть номер 15 ваших. Немцы номер.
Dziękuję bardzo. This is very interesting I thought about the train. transaction you made uh, on, uh, it doesn't matter what the amount of the money is. This is a minimum for transaction. So either it's this or it's 2.5%. So that's why I'm trying to transfer the money. 4.8 would be for the poll, I'm close 4.8. And, yeah, and then we'll be 5.7, 5.7.9, 7.9, 822. 2-2-6-5. Exactly. Just one, two you have to make. Just one take out. Uh, which one is that? Uh, the last one, the other one. That's it. 5 7 9 okay. two, six to 5 6 to 5 That's a 6. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there anything else? No, I Me getting the job and coming back to important Okay. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, you are actually you are actually a daughter of some people. I know.
I'm sure your mom, right? Yeah. Um, the chance that I'm mad is a situation. No, I'm not worried. I know that they tell me they really told them in position, I know why. That's right now.
Mom is shorter, I think. I and that's stronger.
This here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it over here. Hold on. Oh, no.
Okay, thanks God for this one. <laughs> oh, this was recorded on September the 4th, 2020. Well, at the bank. I'll just say this. Wow. In Australia. <laughs> <laughs> 